guys, welcome to this week's My Halifax. My name's Adam Cooper. If you're new to our YouTube channel, we make videos all about the fun and cool things you can do in and around Halifax. This week, we've come to Pier 21 to check out a giant pillow fort. So for those of you who don't know, Pier 21 is the National Historic Site. It's also one of Canada's national museums. So its focus is purely on the history of what Pier 21 was, which during 1928 to 1971, um, around a million people have emigrated here. So immigrants came and landed, and this was their first steps into Canada. So their focus is mainly on all that history and all the stories here. And it fits in really well what we're showing today. Um, there's, a, there's a temporary exhibit that's all about what it means to be family throughout different generations and through different communities. So let's go check it out. So the first exhibit we're going to check out is a temporary exhibit. They've had some really cool ones over the years, but this one's actually on loan from the Royal BC Museum. Um, it's a great kind of analysis and study on what it means to be family, which I think is a really cool thing. So it's cool to bring your kids down here and just kind of have that experience about what your family looks like versus others around the country. So this exhibit is actually really cool. It's got different families from new generations, different cultures. It's just kind of teaching you so much about how people live differently from you, but they're still a family. Um, one of the coolest things so far is this tree right here. It's got basically leaves that have been written on there. The principle is that you're a moment in time, so what kind of legacy would you want to leave to your great-great-grandkids? And people have written down what they believe in or things they think are important. Some of them are really cute from little kids, and some of them are more deep and meaningful, and it's just really cool to see that. So there's a wide range of artifacts here from like some home movie clips to a collection of clothes from different like eras and different regions and they kind of reflect what's happening at the time so it's a good way to learn about different history and kind of the clothing all then too. And um, we're not going to film all the artifacts because they are owned by people and we need permission for that and also I want you guys to come and check out the exhibit. When Pier 21 invited us down here they told us they had a giant blanket full. Let's go check it out. So this is a really good exhibit because if you think about it, your family history is so important and a lot of times when we think about history we think about world events and things that happen but you know if you look back at your family and where they came from and what they've done and what they've achieved throughout their whole life it's pretty pretty big deal so you know coming to a place like P21 that has for so many people this is where they first started their journey and came to Canada and became Canadians it seems really fitting to have an exhibit all about families here. So we just come upstairs now, the immigration museum's here, and plus there's beautiful views out onto Dartmouth. So this is a great space, um, there's a lot of events here. And I've been in the immigration museum before because it's got all the history of like all the over a million people that came here when Pier 21 was where you first came if you were immigrating to Canada. So for me, Pier 21 is a good example of having a museum here that probably a lot of people have come to once or twice before but it's a place that has constantly changing exhibits in the temporary section and you know the immigration museum it always gets updated so there's a lot of stuff you can find here and you know like I was saying earlier this is the only national museum east of Ottawa so we're kind of lucky to have that and I just feel like it's a place that is whether you come once twice or three times you're going to see something new every time so it's definitely a place I think people should check out not only just for the immigration side of it but also for the other information they provide because it's a really nice space and it's a great museum. So whenever we come and check out a temporary exhibit, we always come and look at the Immigration Museum. Um, it's one of those ones that every time I come through, I find something out differently or I realize I misunderstood something. So it's definitely a place to come and check out. It's a beautiful museum, like there's lots of history here and it's just really cool to see the story for a lot of people what their journey through Canada looked like and why people move so um, whether you're here for temporary exhibit or just coming toward downtown definitely come and check out the immigration side of things. One of my favorite features about the Immigration Museum is how interactive it is. There's lots of stuff like you can just grab a chair, play some videos and kind of 
you see a more modern interpretation, like a lot of museums I grew up with in England, they were very much like paper, look through glass screens and kind of just look at artifacts, which is important and still great, but it's also nice that this is so modern that you can kind of just drink it in and just learn so much about what's happened before us. So we now get to the point in the Russian Museum where you start to see where people arrived and where the landing point was in Canada. And I know that when I was here the last time, I actually filled out like when I arrived, the city came in and it was just really, got actually a little emotional because it was just reminded me of when I came to Canada what it was like. So this is kind of my favorite part because I like to see other people's stories. So we finished doing the quick tour of the Immigration Museum, definitely come and check it out. We didn't go into a lot of depth in the museum, um, just because I want you guys to come and experience it, because it's hard to recapture that kind of experience. Now we're going to go down and check out the gift shop, because it's got a really good gift shop in there, and it's great for people that are out of town to get some local Halifax products. So that is the end of this week's My Halifax. Thank you so much for watching it. Once again, we were at Pier 21 and we were checking out the temporary exhibit all about families, but it's a great museum that has lots of history about um, Canada and our city, so definitely come and check it out. Thank you for watching this video. If there's any way you think we should make a video, please let us know in the comments below. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe to the YouTube channel, and we'll see you next week. <laughs> You're such a man child. <laughs> Thank you for making it all the way to the end of this week's video. Make sure you hit the big round subscribe button so you never miss one of our cool videos. Follow us on our social media link below and we've got a couple of videos here we thought you might like to watch.